Hey guys, welcome back to another Objective C tutorial. I apologize it's been so long since the last one, but we're going to jump into right where we left off. And with this tutorial, we're going to be going through the break statement. And you guys probably don't understand what it is, but uh, that's what we're going to go through right here. Um, so, in the pattern previous tutorials, we learned about the for loop. And the for loop was basically it allows you to execute a certain looping function until a certain condition is met, and then it stops that loop. Well, the break statement can actually be put within your statement down here to allow you to break away from that looping. So let's say you only get halfway through your loop, but you encounter something, and we'll get into this in the tutorial. You're At that point, you can break out of that loop and execute another part of code. So let's just jump into it, and you guys will you, hopefully you guys will uh, see what I'm talking about here. We're just going to make up a real world scenario of, of uh, security. Well, let's say let's say you've got a website, and you want to have some kind of monitor on this website. You're monitoring the network. You're making sure that nobody's hacking into this, and so you want an infinite for loop going, basically saying, "Watch my website. Watch my security and everything that's going on." and uh, make sure that no, no hackers are basically coming in. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a for loop to monitor the website infinitively. Well, let's, let's put a limit on that so we don't blow up your computer if you make a mistake. But then we're also going to have a thing basically saying if, if somebody comes and tries to hit it on our website, let's say six or less times, six or more times, we want to break out of the monitoring phase and go attack those guys or, or gather some data, figure out what they're doing on our website, and then maybe send their you know username or information to Anonymous so they can uh, send them an alert or something. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a basic uh, variable here, and we'll just call this hits, and we're going to set it equal to zero. And this is going to be the amount of hits that, are, that the hackers are hitting towards our website. And then we're going to set up our um, for loop here. And this is basically the monitor for our security, we'll say. And we'll set this equal to zero. And this is where you'd have that continuously loop of monitoring or checking out the website to that degree. The condition in this case, we could make it an infinite loop just to continually monitor the website. But in this case, we're just going to set up a basic um, as long as it's less than we'll go 2000 and then the increment that we want to uh, increase the security the monitor is by one so we're gonna basically have this loop go through 2000 times it's gonna go it's gonna start at zero and then it's gonna add one to the security loop so it's gonna be one then it's gonna loop again and we're gonna be at two all the way up till we get uh, to 2000 here so now while it's looping 2000 times Let's say on the thousandth loop, we have a hacker hit our website seven times. At that point, we don't want the loop just to keep monitoring. We want it to break away and uh, send their information to anonymous. So that's what we're going to do here is in this statement, we are first going to set up what we want the hits to be counting. Um, so in this case, we're just going to set our hits as, now this is kind of a computer setting, we're just going to have them increasing by one. Every time it's just going to go, it starts at zero, the hits are going to increase to two, or one, two, three, four, so on and so forth. So just continually going up as the loop progresses. Now what we want to do here is we want to set up an if statement. And that if statement is basically going to say if we get hit six or more times, then we want to send the information to anonymous. So in this case, we're going to go if, and we're going to set up our condition as the hits is greater than, we'll say, 6. Then directly after that statement, we want to break. And so go ahead and write that down. I'm going to explain it. We're going to NS log this so we can see how many hits we've got and at what point it breaks. And so NS log. And then this is going to be, we'll just set the hits equals our integer as our hits. Assign it to our hits. Okay, so if we were to actually, now go back here, screwed up here, NS log. There we go. 
Okay, so if we were to actually run this, this loop is going to run 2,000 times. And as it runs, our hits increase every time this loop goes through. So our hits is going to be 1, our security is going to be 1, and as that increases, both are going to be increasing simultaneously. So at this point, we get to hit number 6, and our if statement validates. Because it goes, if the hits is greater than 6, we want to break out of this loop here. And when we break out of this loop, we will, that's when we send anonymous our thing. So we could add different statements below this um, to actually execute the code that we want to utilize after that. So, But until then, our loop goes through, our hits increase, we're at 1. Is one is obviously not greater than six, so it doesn't break. Gets down to the log, and it should say hits equals one now. So now what we're gonna do is run it, make sure what we've got set up is similar to what we're talking about. All right, so perfect. What you see is it first counts to one. It shows hits is one. It goes on to the second loop, and you see it increases to two. We're still validating, so if two is greater than six break well it's not so it keeps going and it validates it logs it on the screen goes on to number three four five six and once it hits seven you'll see it stops counting it stops the loop and in this case in, in this case seven is greater than six so it breaks us out of this entire security loop so hopefully you guys see how you can break out of the loop and uh, I mean this is particularly nice for like those infinite loops where you want to break out to do different things depending on what happens if an error pops up we don't want to keep running that loop we want to shut down the program at that point so that is the basic introduction to the break statement alright thanks for watching guys we'll catch you in the next tutorial